Hello, my name is Axel Scherer. I will give you a quick introduction into test benches in UVM. So, test benches have three primary functions. They are basically the container component that instantiates all the subcomponent that you need to build your verification environment. Once you have these instantiated, you also need to configure them, right? These are generic components meant for reuse, so you need to adapt them for your particular application. As these subcomponents also interchange information, you need to connect them, right? So like interface UVCs have to talk both to the device and maybe to a module UVC. So looking at our generic environment example, we have our device with the interfaces, we have interface UVCs, we have a module UVC and a virtual sequencer. All of this stuff basically lives inside of the test bench, right? And now we also have to establish these connections, right? Between the virtual sequencer and the interface UVC and between the interface UVC and the module UVC and so forth. And we configure these components according to our needs for our particular application. Okay, so let's look at some code. Here we have a UART controller that we've looked at before, right? And you can see all its content, right? It has, for example, here a APB UVC, a UART UVC, a module UVC, and a virtual sequencer, and some other auxiliary stuff. So you can see how it contains basically everything you need to run this particular test. Now, a UVM test bench is nothing special. It just derives from UVM ENV, just like a UVC. Right? So it's just uh, basically a container class. And in it, you can see now again these particular subcomponents that we need, uh, the three UVCs for interface, APB, interface UART, and for the module UART controller. Then it follows by the uh, virtual sequencer and then some configuration. So we have all this stuff, and then we build the environment later on in one of the tasks uh, functions and then we configure this whole thing and hook it up, right? So here is a bunch of port connections, for example, that are established inside of this um, test bench, right? So for example, the UART RX monitor port is being hooked up to the module UVC monitor, right? So that we can compare actually the frames that are coming out of this interface UVC at the scoreboard later on, right? So we need to establish these port connections and all the other connections we need. So that's basically it. Again, a, a test bench is just a container class that instantiates the subcomponents, configures them, and connects them. The test then comes along and uses this for its needs. You can see more videos like this on either this YouTube channel or at support.kittens.com at the video library for the Incisive Simulator. Thank you very much, have a great day and talk to you soon.